Okay, here I'm going to demonstrate how, in one take hopefully, to modify your Sheps for Blue Dot. I'm doing this through a camera, so I hope uh, I can do this. Take you got to loosen these screws at the base. You turn them clockwise, only enough to recess them. If you turn them too far in, uh, they'll fall into the body of the mic, which is not a catastrophe, but... Just turn them in enough to loosen them, and then you can pull off the sleeve, revealing the circuit underneath. Now, don't touch. Uh, keep your, make sure your hands are clean, and don't touch the components. And certainly, don't put a fingerprint on the circuit board. Don't blow on this, um, you know, for any reason, because the, you know, the spittle in your. Uh, and your breath will get on this, and this has to be as clean and dry as possible. It should always be extraordinarily clean and dry. This resistor here is a one gig resistor, so even just touching it with your finger uh, could possibly change its resistance and make the mic noisier, so don't touch it. Handle the thing by the edges or by the base. Now, if we look real closely here, hopefully we can get a focus, you will see a jumper. Now it's right there. You see it's it's jumping. It says B and A. And this jumper right now is crossing the B. And that is making it a non-blue dot. We're going to take that jumper off and have it go vertically here to the A. Now Sheps, uh, when they did these, they actually stuck the wires through the uh, holes of the circuit board so they may it may be a little tough to remove this one's not going to be because i did it as a for the purposes of demonstration so you see i pulled it up there and then i'm going to pull the solder off and get get that jumper off of there so now we have a a uh no jumper mic won't work in this case and you don't want to create a solder bridge um, between that B um, jumper or where the jumper was. So now we're going to put the mic down and I'm going to install a new jumper on A. And one handy way to do this is to take a little piece of wire, tin one end of it, just to get a little solder on it there, and then put it on one end of the A bridge and then solder the second end right there on the top of the A bridge. Now I've jumpered, taken it off the B jumper. And if I can get a focus, thank you very much. Now it's jumpered the A bridge. And I'll just cut off the excess. Just like that. Now I've moved the jumper from B to A. See that? Now you've effectively engaged the blue dot function. Uh, make sure your work is clean. You can often hold it up to the light. I often do this. I'll put my microphone, my uh, circuit board up to the light and I'll examine it to make sure that I haven't created any solder bridges. And there you can see the uh, B to A with the light shining from behind the uh, focus, please. I, what will I get for a focus puller right now? Huh? A little inside joke there. There we go. See that nice little bridge I made? I went from the B and I crossed to the A. That's how you do it. So once you're done with that, you reassemble your microphone and test it and hopefully uh, you've gained about 5 dB not hopefully but you have gained about 5 dB of um, amplifier gain and made it a blue dot and if you don't already have the blue dot on your microphone you can get yourself a little enamel paint and fill that in there just like I do okay it also helps to have uh, magnifiers Peace out.